Callaway 67. I haven't quite got to the front range yet. It's uh, lifted me in altitude. I've already seen a herd of deer off to the side, so I went in and busted the camera out. The, uh, the distance I'm traveling is actually time-wise. Looks like it's gonna be longer uh, than had I gone down through Colorado Springs on the highway. But at the same time, I'm climbing an altitude on roads where the speed limit is about 20 or 30 miles an hour. And that makes it a lot easier for me to go up the hill in third gear. I'm not impeding traffic. Uh, cars, I got a radiator fluid. And I got a creek next to pra practically every road. So if I, uh, I worry about the car overheating because it's got a small leak in the radiator, but I got plenty of fluids to keep it patched up if it becomes a problem. So I'm gonna save some camera time. I just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like. Uh, this is, I took 85 out of Denver. It's about 25 miles south, uh, southwest. Turned off in a town called Sedalia. Never been there before. It's a cute little, cool little town. Bunch of, there's a biker bar right there where I turn off and they were all cool. So I'm about halfway there. Somehow 67 ends and I go down Pine Creek Road for 3.1 miles. It says there's a 15% grade on this road, so I guess we'll see what that's about. Hopefully I turn off. It says I'll turn off on Platte River Road. We shall see. All right, checking out. Yeah, this Pine Creek Road's pretty crazy. Luckily it's only 3.1 miles before I get back, hopefully on concrete. Very steep, steep grade. Very steep. Not much of a lip on it. I think I'm gonna call this car Donkey. I've never named this little beast. I think little Donkey might be an appropriate name. It's getting it done. Off Pine Creek, a little dirt road. I'm on Platte River Road. And I'm assuming it's called Platte River Road because that looks like the Platte River right there. I don't know how I missed this part. I'm going the direction I need to be going in. I was following 67. But in my directions, I left out a 25-mile 25, <laughs> 25 stretch between here and Woodland Park. Section. It's an intersection of where it's a very, uh, very valuable town, if you will. It's got everything you need down in the city. It's uh, where two major U.S. highways. Where you saw, you know, this is what is considered a major highway up here. It's where they intersect. And so, from Woodland Park, 
you take Woodland Park further up, like you're going up to Pikes Peak, I'm probably going to be coming up on about 9,000 altitude uh, here pretty soon. Woodland Park's at 85, the sign said. So this is about the altitude I used to live at. Anyway, six miles up the road from Woodland Park is going to be Divide. Divide's also another key juncture. Uh, because of Divide, you can continue going on uh, to the western slope make your way over the other side, you make your way west, or you hang a left at Divide and you go down to uh, Cripple Creek through Florissant. Uh, what we're going to do is be taking a right at Divide and going up into these little uh, little claims up here just to the north of town. So it uh, doesn't look very mountainous here, and the reason it doesn't look very mountainous here is because we're on the mountain. This is basically, uh, we're riding along a big ridge. Airs keep popping. But it's, uh, what it does is that this 24 just winds you around and gets you up to, to Pikes Peak. You actually can't get to Pikes Peak from 24. Uh, there's a Pikes Peak Highway that goes directly up and you zigzag back and forth across. Uh, it looks like the road is probably closed about this altitude on Pikes Peak. They have to shut that down because you're looking at 30, 40 feet of snow up there, 14,000 feet. So, all right, well, I'm gonna keep an eye on the road. You can see uh, my prediction here, see how the cars going the other way? These are all the weekend warriors. So there are a lot of people that come up into the mountains uh, on the weekends that are very familiar with the mountains. So, anyway. shops, curios, and it's all kinds of fun stuff. I love these little mountain towns. People are so friendly. I pulled off on the side of the road so Frankie could uh, freshen up and a lady slowed down and asked if we were all okay, like maybe we were in trouble or the car broke down. It was kind of funny. Well, anyway, I'm going to stop sign. I should let y'all go.